I was born and raised in Montgomery, Alabama. While I was growing up, I was keenly aware that everyone around me did not have the same sort of access to care and good health that my family enjoyed. Therefore, I wanted to pursue a career that would help make a difference in the lives of people like this. After graduating from Howard, I went on to medical school at Johns Hopkins in Baltimore. And it was there that uh, I received my medical education and more importantly, met my wife, Nefertiti. My wife is a pediatrician with a specialty in adolescent medicine. She also is a researcher and is interested in obesity and physical activity among young women. Following our graduation from Johns Hopkins, we both went on to residency programs at Duke Medical Center in Durham, North Carolina. Upon the completion of our research fellowships, we had uh, a choice of either staying in Boston or pursuing opportunities at Johns Hopkins in Baltimore or coming here to Birmingham uh, at UAB. Uh, we ultimately chose UAB because of the research opportunities as well as the mentorship that was available for both of us. Upon arriving at UAB, we were already aware that there were established connections with the community in terms of research and in some cases simply for community outreach. The MHRC is a major component of that connection to the surrounding community. Mona Fuad and others have laid the groundwork for lasting relationships with these communities such that there are multiple opportunities to get involved with various research efforts and in some cases to create new research efforts. The MHRC is important because it brings together people from multiple disciplines who are interested in looking at health disparities. Therefore, you get a collective brain power and expertise in one place and I think there's a certain synergy there that allows us to explore health disparities in a much more effective and efficient way. Finding out that I had won the Barclay Award was tremendously exciting. Obviously it was good from a practical standpoint to have the money to be able to do the work that I envision. Secondarily, it also is a tremendous confidence boost for someone who is trying to get started in his or her career with obtaining grants for research. I believe my research is important because we are attempting to find psychosocial factors that may impact the health of persons with heart failure. The name of the project is the PUSH project and what that stands for is a pilot for understanding social support and heart failure. Our primary goal of this project is to determine the relationship between social support and hospitalization rates among African Americans and whites with heart failure. If we're able to reduce hospitalization rates for heart failure, particularly among the underserved, not only will we be making a terrific impact in the lives of those patients, but we also will be conserving valuable resources associated with the cost of inpatient care, as well as lost wages, lost productivity. Uh, my hope would be that my contribution would be a piece of a larger puzzle that would one day allow us to find better solutions to providing everyone in this country with quality health care. As a community health advisor, I would take information about breast cancer screening, mammograms, how to do the breast self-exam, things of that nature. As a child, as a REACH and CHAP volunteer, I made people aware of the services that were available. So it was my responsibility to look it up, find out what services they needed, find out what's available in their area, who to put them in contact with, that's what I did. If they had to go to a doctor and my car was available, they had a way to go. If they needed a babysitter, I was there so that they could keep their appointments. One of the things that I've learned 
as being a child is, you know, it's, it's just amazing that there are services available people know nothing about. It's amazing that people don't know that there are services available for breast screening. People don't know that they can actually go into a cancer center and get treatments. So, you know, this is the type thing that we're trying to make them aware of. I became a, a child because of my diagnosis. I did the breast self-exam, then I called the doctor to let him know that I had found something. I had six cycles of chemotherapy, 35 uh, radiation treatments, and I came out, you know, with flying colors. So I want women in particular to know that even though we have a tendency to care for everybody else's health, we need to take control of our own health. As a survivor, I learned in life, you can't go around with a mitt on both hands. You've got to be able to give something back. So that's why I became a child, because I wanted to give something back. I wanted women to learn to take care of their health, take responsibility for it, and be that survivor, be that, that voice for themselves and for other women as well. To be a volunteer is something dear to my heart. It means being able to give back to an individual so that that individual can give to another individual and that individual can take it even further and give to another individual because that's what it's all about. Being a child, bless me.